Hello and thank you for watching this video. What we want to illustrate to you with this short film is how an integrated onboard battery charger that we have developed works in terms of the prototype demonstrator that has been built. The work has been conducted within the auspices of an EPSRC funded research project, which is a big consortium 10 university project. And the role of Liverpool John Moores University in this project has been to develop new solutions for integrating onboard battery chargers for future electric vehicles. During the course of the investigation, we have come up with a number of new solutions, and the prom most promising one has then been selected for development into the fully blown prototype demonstrator. For demonstrator purposes, we have collaborated with the University of Nottingham and the University of Southampton in developing the demonstrator that we will be shortly looking at. But before we do that, let me just give you a brief idea why the work has been done. In current electric vehicles, we need a separate charger for the battery in order to be able to recharge the battery when the vehicle is stationary. This adds to the cost and weight and reduces the spare space in the car. In the ideal case, we would prefer to be able to reuse the components that already exist in an electric vehicle in the process of the battery charging. But with three-phase machines which are customarily used in electric vehicles, this is not possible since passing three-phase currents through a three-phase motor will always cause a rotating field and dust talk. However, if we choose to use an electric machine with a higher number of stator phases, above three, it turns out that numerous possibilities open up for realizing torque-free battery charging while at the same time using exactly the same components that are already used in the propulsion mode. So let me explain in more details using this scheme what exactly we have and what we are using. To your left on this slide we have the grid which will be used for three-phase charging or for single-phase charging. The system we have developed works with both and we will connect actually this uh, three-phase grid to three neutral points of the nine-phase system that we use for propulsion. In particular, nine-phase electric machine which can be of either induction or synchronous motor type. To the right of the machine we have a converter which will operate as an inverter in propulsion mode while it will perform the role of a rectifier in the battery charging mode. Further to your right there is a DC to DC converter which will adjust inverter output voltage to the battery voltage and finally we have all the way to your right the batteries that are providing power in propulsion and that need to get recharged for further operation once when they are flat. The difference between this system and the current three-phase systems is that we do not need a single additional component here other than those that we already use for the propulsion mode. So it is the use of exactly the same converter which will operate as a rectifier in uh, charging mode. The motor is used here as a filtering inductance. Its phases represent essentially a filter for the current enabling us to charge the battery with relatively ripple free current and there is no need for any hardware additional components. We also achieve the most desirable feature of all onboard chargers which is torque free operation and which is of paramount interest to avoid uh, rotation of the motor during charging process. So this was a brief description of how this all is done and how it operates. Let us now look in more detail at what this physical prototype demonstrator consists of. It will be explained by my colleague Dr. Nandro Bodo who has spent the last two years working on this demonstrator and also collaborating with the University of Nottingham and the University of Southampton on their contributions to the demonstrator. Hello, uh, so this is the physical appearance of the schematic that you've seen on the slide before. We have the connection to the grid, which is connected to the neutral points of the nine-phase machine. In this demonstrator, we have a contract contactor that connects and disconnects the grid from the neutral points. We don't need this in the real system because the user will connect the vehicle to the charging point and disconnect it when, it want, when he wants to drive away. 
And the nine phase machine is then connected through these nine conductors to the inverter and DC DC converter. Uh, the converter is the contribution of the University of Nottingham and the DC DC converter is then further connected to the batteries. Uh, the whole system is controlled by the control unit in the black box and the control unit receives reference signals about uh, the charging power and uh, vehicle speed from that management unit which is positioned on top of the control unit. The management unit is the contribution of the University of Southampton. I will now hand over to my colleague Mr. Ivan Subotic. He has been working on the concept of multiphase chargers for four years now and he will show the demonstrator in action. In order to initiate battery charging mode, the reference for the charging power has to be put to a positive value. It can be seen that grid phase A current, which is represented by a yellow trace, is sinusoidal and in phase with phase A grid voltage, which is represented by a purple trace. So unity power factor is achieved. The battery charging current which is represented by a blue trace, has a positive value. Now, without any software reconfiguration, the topology can enter vehicle to grid mode just by purely setting the reference for the charging power to a negative value. It can be seen that now grid phase current is again sinusoidal, but it is in phase opposition with the voltage. So again, unity power factor is achieved. The battery charging current now, however, has a negative value. And now let's demonstrate how this topology operates in an automated mode between charging, vehicle to grid, and propulsion. In automated mode, the references for the three modes of operation are pre-loaded into the controller. Here it can be seen that now the charging process takes place and the speed of the machine is at zero. It automatically continues into vehicle to grid mode and again it can be seen that speed of the machine is equal to zero. Finally, without any hardware configuration, propulsion mode takes place and as it can be seen, the machine rotates. So thank you yet again for watching this video. I hope that you have found it interesting. If by any chance you would like to consider developing this uh, proposal for a battery charging system from current TRL-13 into a higher level, please do get in touch with us. Contact details appear on the next slide. Thank you.